Because of the CBS News special report which follows, Mayberry RFD will not be presented tonight, but will return next week at its regularly scheduled time over most of these stations. Direct from our newsroom in Washington, in color, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite and Russ Hodge in Memphis, Tennessee, Dan Rather in New York, Bernard Kalb in Saigon, Marvin Kalb in Wellington, New Zealand, and Bert Quint in Khe Sanh, South Vietnam. Good evening. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Police have issued an all-points bulletin for a well-dressed young white man seen running from the scene. Officers also reportedly chased and fired on a radio-equipped car containing two white men. Dr. King was standing on the balcony of a second-floor hotel room tonight when, according to a companion, a shot was fired from across the street. In the friend's words, the bullet exploded in his face. Police, who have been keeping a close watch over the Nobel Peace Prize winner because of Memphis' turbulent racial situation, were on the scene almost immediately. They rushed the 39-year-old Negro leader to a hospital where he died of a bullet wound in the neck. Mayor Henry Loeb has reinstated the dusk-to-dawn curfew he imposed on the city last week when a march led by Dr. King erupted in violence. Governor Buford Ellington has called out 4,000 National Guardsmen. Police report that the murder has touched off sporadic acts of violence in a Negro section of the city. In a nationwide television address, President Johnson expressed the nation's shock. America is shocked and saddened by the brutal slaying tonight of Dr. Martin Luther King. I ask every citizen to reject the blind violence that has... Oh, you take that back. No, better now. That's a something. Something starts with never after. An eye on it since the riots a week. Hello! This to say last night about the situation in Memphis. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. Like anybody, I would like to live. Nicole, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? What are you doing there, you little songbird? <laughs> I'm doing my thing. Yeah, well, your seesaw starts with that. You. Maybe. Well, you're up late, boys. I brought along my own little group. You folks heard of the Beatles, the Monkeys, the Toitles? Well, you haven't heard anything. I just opened the cages and look what I released. described by one investigator as reminiscent of a weird religious rite. Five persons, including actress Sharon Tate, were found dead at the home of Miss Tate and her husband, screen director Roman Polyansky. Miss Tate, who starred in Valley of the Dolls, was eight months pregnant and was found in a bikini-type nightgown with a rope around her neck attached to the body of a man. Authorities would allow no one in an unofficial capacity inside the posh $200,000 home in the hills overlooking Los Angeles. 
One officer summed up the murders when he said, in all my years, I have never seen anything like this before. Night's air file You old sky waves White nail file is the word Have and has and has Life's fairgrounds Gold pony Who turns out in your hand, man? The world has
What the fuck, woman? Hey, Charlie. I'm a little blade of grass that sings. Good motherfucking morning, Petunia Brain. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you and everything you got on here. What is it that I was just saying to you the other day? All those layers are your goddamn fucking program. <laughs> See, that's your fear, woman. You're afraid of every cycle, and that keeps you in your grave. Now, do you see this? Do you see this? This is a perfect example of what I've been talking about. Do you see this? We're all over here. But you know that none of these creeps are going to help you out, Red. They can't even see past their own shadows. Yeah. Long enough to, long enough to have any actual contact with anybody. See, they're too all too busy stepping on each other like a bunch of cooped up chickens or something to get to me. You assholes would die and sell each other if you thought it'd get my attention for a minute. Yeah, then you all walk around the ranch and you talk about love. Love of what? Love a brother? You don't give a fuck about your brother or your sister. You only give a fuck about Charlie. When are you gonna give all your fear to me? Catch me, girls. I'm going out for a pet. <laughs> and it's I've been trying to help you I'd get through that, Red. I've been trying to help you I'd see you in September or something. But it's in your programming. Your programmers were programmed, and that's just like you. <laughs> that's <laughs> Shit. It's easy to be here in the now. It's like I was just... Whoa, hell, I'm on the fucking planet, man. We're all falling in the same submarine of a solar system. When are you going to give all that fear to me? Catch me, girls! I'm going out for a path! <laughs> and it's the law! I've been trying to help you I'd get through that, Red. I've been trying to help you I'd see you in September or something. But it's in your program. Your programmers were programmed, and this is just like you. <laughs> Shit, it's easy to be here in the now. Whoa, hey, I'm on the fucking planet, man. We're all falling in the same submarine of a solar system forever. I mean, is that okay by you? If the planet spins, is that a fair deal too? Huh? Hey, Earth, the stone chick. Charlie? I know it's you. Oh, come on. I know it's you, Charlie. Charlie? I know it's you. You always try to fool you. But I know that it's me inside. Like I sing in the morning when I know it will be dark again, Dad. I know that it's me that has that in my mind every time. And you can stand anywhere on this planet and tell me if I'm on it or not. I mean, if I'm on it or not, every time, huh? So, how's that sound to you, asshole? You can tell me every time I'm down here if I'm on it or not, okay? You can tell me every fucking time when I'm on this fucking planet whether I'm fucking on it or not. Is that what you want? Does that make you happy? Stupid fucking asshole! You can tell me every fucking time when I'm on this fucking planet whether I'm fucking on it or not! It's a wave, mother! 
accept what it is you want. Is that what I kept on to? Ah! It's a wave, mother! And the world rests on the planet of your bullshit, mother Tucker! Sneaking in and out of the ventilators, sneaking everywhere. Everything is sneaky up around Sneakyville. <laughs> Everything we have to do to get to the truth has to be sneaky. It seems a shame to have to sneak to get to the truth. To make the truth such an evil, dirty, old, nasty thing. You gotta sneak to get to the truth. The truth is condemned. The truth is in the gas chamber. The truth has been in your stockyards, your slaughterhouses. The truth has been in your ghettos and your jails and your young love, not in your courts or your Congress where the old set judgment on the young. What the hell do the old know about the young? They put a picture of old George on the dollar and tell you that he's your father, worship him. Look at the madness that goes on. You can't prove anything that happened yesterday. Now is the only thing that's real. You can try to prove that Columbus sailed on an ocean, but it's not the same ocean. <laughs> the job making people nervous. <laughs> what was we at? <laughs> Rest with people from the sick city. Burns their homes down. <laughs> oh, you wanted something to happen. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to happen. <laughs> Let's see. What was we talking about?
Richard, may we talk to you and uh, Miss Atkins for a moment? Miss Atkins. Hey, take it easy. Uh, I'm sorry, right, right Mr. Can she talk at all? No, she doesn't wish to talk about it. Now. I have no plans. I don't make plans. I just do what I do. See you. At 21, Susan Atkins would become the most visible member of a ragtag bunch of killers. The Manson family. A one-time nice little kid as she grew up in Northern California. Ah. Susan became a popular babysitter, captained her school swimming team, and sang in the church choir. Mom. Mom. Then when her mother died, Susan Atkins ran away from home. What? So after 300 LSD trips in two years, looking, sounding, and acting crazy, Susan Atkins would spill it all and tell a grand jury what happened. I don't feel very well. You don't feel very well? No, I don't feel very good at all. With terrible details. She would describe how she murdered movie actress Sharon Tate and her yet unborn baby. Confused little girl. I have no plans. I don't make plans. I just do what I do. Cold-blooded murderer. Mom? Susan Atkins' loyalty was absolute. <laughs> Susan Atkins dropped acid at least 300 times. I don't feel very well. So at 18, what? when Manson sent Susan Atkins and others of his family to kill, They did it. Mom?
You know what? The prosecution has spent eight months presenting one side. Uh, the, pre the press has been the mouthpiece of the prosecution, and they've succeeded in brainwashing a lot of people into believing everything that Bugliosi has presented, his uh, so-called race war theory. Charlie never preached a race war. He's seen that the people that have been on the bottom, it's time for them to come to the top. You know, the revolution's on. Hello. How's your court going? Are you liking your court? How do you feel right now? Everything in me is good. Are you bitter? Bitter? No, I have no guilt. I do no wrong. What have you done, Charlie? Done? Every man judges himself. He knows what he is. You know what you are, as I know what I am. We all know what we are, you know. Charles Manson, described today by the star witness against him as the Messiah come again, the second coming of Christ. Linda Kasabian revealed that she thought Manson was Christ, that he generated love and pure truth, and that she had been in love with him. Don Oliver, NBC News, Los Angeles. Are you ready to proceed with the defense? Yes, Your Honor. You may call your first witness. Your Honor. May I question him, Your Honor? No, you may not. Call the next witness. You know, I'm going to defend my life one way or another. I'd like to do it with words. If you don't stop, I'll have to have you removed. I'll have you removed. See, I got a little system here. <laughs> Denied. Call the next witness. Do you think I'm kidding? <laughs> Lawyers play games with people. But I'm a person who will not be played with in this manner. You know, I'm going to defend my life one way or another. I'd like to do it with words. Do you think I'm kidding? You're persecuting a reflection of yourself. You're persecuting what you can't stand to look at in yourself. The truth. You can't stand to look at the truth in yourself. You persecute yourselves. You hate yourselves. And I'm going to defend my life one way or another. I'd like to do it with words. Do you think I'm kidding? Look at the road signs. Stop, go, turn here, turn there. You can't do this, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, you can't. This is illegal, that's illegal. Everything is illegal. The police used to watch over the people. Now they're just watching the people. The president doesn't care about the people. He should be on the roadside picking up his children, but he isn't. Do you think I'm kidding? take pictures of him all you want to the courthouse steps and that is all. The truth has not been in your courtroom. Never has been in your courtroom. All you have is confusion in your courtroom. Why do I have to stand and take the blame for your sins again? I've spent my life in jail, paying for you, so that you could ride your bicycles, have your birthday party, have what you'd call a life. You know, I never had a life. I don't even know what life is, you know. I go to your desert, I'm not even allowed to live in your desert. 
I'm no good for anything except to be used. As your scapegoat. I'm used. Every day of my life I've been used. When I haven't been used and I have been on the on the street. I've been chased, run, harassed, pushed, kicked. My ribs have been broken, you know. The same guy that gives you a traffic ticket is the same guy that knocks my brains out. He figures just because he's the man, he can get away with it because nobody's gonna say anything. My daddy's not a congressman or a doctor. Seemed to be more the oppressed, and the judge seemed to be the boss. 